wonder if that'll be enough tools to fix the garage door. So, it's the current setup using a ladder to make it so you can go in and out. So, the trivial little problem that we have is the counterweight spring has come off the cone. So, the top here uh, it should be a cone. And because it came off, the spring came unravelled. So, a trivial little task. Replace the wire, the cone, and retention the spring. Yeah, you can see where the Allen keys spun on the shaft previously. Yeah, I know. So, it needs a flat in there. And probably needs to be bearing before it'll spin easily to tension up as well. Yes. So to remove the cone, you have to untangle the wire and then simply tap out the pin. So you need about four hands. <laughs> so um, we've now got the pin halfway through. So it can be gently tapped. retaining pin. When the door's in the rolled up position the uh, coil looks like this and as you unroll the door the spring gives away the tension and unwinds. So this means when we tension up the spring we need to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven wraps of tension plus a bit of slack for whatever's at the top of the door. So the cones don't need a nut on. Remove the nut. Done sawing and filing later. The top nuts have been removed on this version so they now match. So we're ready to uh, put those back on. Which was left and which was right probably matters. So the shaft has been cleaned, ready for tightening the spring. Also, just at the opposite faces of the grub screws, there's a little bit of flat filed onto it. Next up is seeing if we can put the cone on. So we take the cone, complete with its pre-started pin, and pop it over the end of the shaft, just like that. So there's a pinhole here, which that needs to be tapped into. So the target to beat is six turns, because that's what the last person who tried managed to get on it. That's two. Want to give the comment? <laughs> right, it's uh, doing up the second grub screw onto the top of the shaft here after having tightened the spring. Right, can't quite see where the thread is yet. 
Hopefully it's biting down onto the flat. We made earlier. How tight is the right tightness for this? <laughs> How tight does one do a grub screw up? Yeah, just as long as you're not shredding it, I don't really mind too much. <laughs> and bearing in mind it's only into plastic, so you could certainly over tighten it. Right, shall we uh, call, that, call that done then? We can try. So somehow, yeah. the architect spanners it. Hopefully 12 turns was enough, because that's the number of turns we counted on the cones. Plus one for luck. And if you open the door now, does it smack you in the face? Wow, the outside world. Um, that looks really easy to open. And then it just opens itself. It just <laughs> opens itself. Um, <laughs> so the the spring works. What's it look if you can you actually close it from the outside? Are you heavy enough? Result. Yeah. Well, well done. Job well done. Thank you. And. Ta da! And. Ta da! And. Ta da! And. Ta da! And. Ta -da.